refrain from telling Kenyans the truth. What we are telling them is to be empathetic to the situation that we find ourselves in. <clears throat> now, there's something that Moses Kuria is doing. And, uh, you know, there have been rumors out there that uh, there will be a reshuffle very soon. And there are rumors that some of the CSAs might be asked and some might be put. Uh, I saw the National Newspaper. I think that was on Sunday, either on, on Sunday or yesterday. And they were saying that when the president was in the U.S., they introduced Adan Mohammed as a CS. And there have been rumors that Adan Mohammed will come in to replace the CS on Rabo Moses Kuria. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that concerns me a lot. And it worries me a lot because Moses Kuria has started an initiative that I think is a game changer, but that unfortunately because of his utterances might cost him his job. And I am afraid that if we get a new CS in that docket, the new CS might start focusing on going out there to get us investors. You know, as African countries, we have this notion that we must go out there and get a big company and bring it here. You know, it's trickle-down economics. Uh, Prof might uh, know this much better than myself. And I don't support trickle-down economics because in essence, what you're saying, you bring a big company from out there, you hope they will create thousands of jobs here. But they come here because, say, there is cheap labor. And then, just like the Chinese did, they, expat they, they, they repatriate most of their profits yes. to their destinations <clears throat> of origin. But there is a program on the county aggregated industrial parks that is ongoing which I think will be a game changer in terms of creation for this country. And I am afraid that if we change Moses Kuria from that docket, we might lose that, just like when Mishuki